Hi guys, Todd here. Today, or this evening, we're going to be looking at a new RBA for uh, your borrow tanks from Cloud Mods. And this is the Cloud Mods RBA. If you want to buy one of these, it will be done through a Facebook group. And Facebook group is Cloud Mods. Uh, it's, I think it's 140 euros for this, uh, plus shipping costs on top. And uh, the first release is already gone. These are landed in the hands of people already. And I could be wrong, but I think the second list is coming very, very soon or has just happened. Uh, but best go along to the Facebook group and uh, you'll get all the information you need there. Open up your little box and you'll find one bridge. One authenticity card with your serial number on it and that'll match up with the bottom of the atty as well. An Allen key, post screws and also a couple of o-rings. And last but not least, you're also going to get air pins. Uh, none of this, you know, having to buy the RBA, then go and buy air pins separately. Uh, you get five air pins in total. Uh, there's one inside, uh, but they go from one mil, 1.5, two, three, and four mil. Now this little, uh, obviously you guys will know this already, but obviously this goes inside your borrow tank and then you pop it inside a billet box or whatever borrow mod you're using. Uh, one of the things that you point out straight away in this and that I like is the fact that it comes with a 510 thread on the bottom so there's no hunting about for adapters and things like that and uh, everybody should be doing this. You stick this inside your borrow tank and given the size, you'll still be left with about 4.2 mil capacity on your standard borrow. It is 316 construction, so you've got 316L body, 316 screws inside, uh, Ketron peak insulators and NBR o-rings. Markings on this, you can see you've got Cloud RBA and the Cloud, mo the cloud, mo the cloud Mods logo. Uh, turn it over and we've got a little man blowing his top. Uh, or a little man with a head of vapour. I, I, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it needed that, but that's just that's a personal taste thing. But uh, I have no issue with this here. Two slots there and there, that's for your wicking and this does wick really, really well. It's one thing I've had no issues with at all, is wicking. Take the chimney off, and when this came out of the box, I must admit that I thought that this was a major issue. This just, uh, hold that like that, and, and it just falls out. And I thought, you know, a lot of you that have borrowed tanks and bridges and so on, you know that if, you know, you screw your 510 nut in here, when you unscrew it, these things have a nasty habit of coming out in your borrow tank. Well, obviously, because this is not round, rectangle like that, it can unscrew. It doesn't unscrew, so this does not lift or, or go anywhere uh, when you're undoing your 510 nut. So that's a positive, even though it's incredibly loose. I mean, it really is very, very loose, but it's part of the design and it doesn't cause you any issues at all. For those of you that are interested, the inner bore going through here is 4.7 millimetres. Pulling the rest of the, the cap off here, just to give you a look at what the chamber looks like inside, you can see that it's domed up the top like that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about how this affects flavour and, and everything when we get back up top. The actual deck, we've got uh, two post screws that you're going to have to use your Allen key for here. And you can see that they're slotted. As always, I do I do like it, and it doesn't have it, but you know, when you normally have like your slot, but you have a little drop in there. So if you're using like mouth to lung wires and things like that, uh, it gives somewhere for the wire to drop down into, and it means it doesn't slip out. But the screws are far enough against the post here that even using smaller gauge wire, I've not had any issues with trapping it. Peak insulator, as you can see there, uh, four mils of joy going on there for you cloud chasers and uh, there are your wicking holes uh, or not wicking holes but where your cotton will actually sit uh, if we turn it upside down you can see we've got cloud mods there and the matching serial number this is obviously your air pin here and I can I, I never do these up with anything but hand uh, so I can just unscrew this here just now uh, keep a, a hold in the top because as you unscrew this pin here, 
out she comes like that you'll see that the positive post comes out like that and then you've got your peak insulator there it's it's to be fair it's just a bridge you know you, you all know how these things are assembled now but we're going to stick with the four mil there and uh, we're going to go all the way up to the top just do it back up by finger there finger tight no need for anything else and once again we have a 510 thread there which is a big thumbs up very very good just throw it onto your atti stand or your mod chuck a build in pulse wick and away you go back off the post screws I'm using a PC coil here, full NI80, it's a 2.5 in a diameter, 0.36, fuse Clapton. There are no mysteries to putting this in here, these coils go in, and it doesn't matter which way the coil's wrapped, I mean some people will say it should be wrapped one way and put in another and so on and so forth, but uh, yeah. Uh, I've got any coil in there, no problems at all, but you can see even before I tighten this down, that's a 2.5. You're going to get a 3mm ID in there, fuse clapped in or similar, no problem at all. Snip my wires at the end here, give this a little pulse and all my hotspots are out and hopefully you can see exactly where I've got this coil. Now, I like to lift this coil up just a little bit higher than I normally would actually, uh, for some reason, which we'll talk about at the end, uh, I find the flavour is better. Um, now normally, obviously, when you put a coil lower down, you get less throat hit. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of lots of throat hit, but uh, I just find the flavour works a lot better on this when I lift it up and almost, you know, get it level with the posts up the top here. We're going to use some Cloud9 cotton that was sent on for free. Oh, sorry, just sent on for free by Vapor Bay UK. Thanks to the guys, as always. I've pulled my cotton through. When I first unboxed this for my patrons, uh, the way that I did the, the cotton, uh, I've, I've done a few times, but you don't have to do it this way. It's like the, the old dwarf, the old K-Fun way of doing it. You know, you would take your legs of cotton and you would pass it up through like this and then, you know, do it that way um, or you can just if you want you can soak the cotton fold it into shape on top of the wells here and you'll be fine doing it that way as well but because I'm a bit of a weirdo I'm, I'm going to do it this way again it's just for some reason I kind of like doing this and it's not let me down and, and it wicks just great so I'm actually just going to snip that off at the top like that there we go all my cotton was fluffed out and everything and then I'm just going to poke it down a little bit um, just make sure that it's tidy and in the wells there so I've got a little bit of that going on uh, but the last thing I like to do is, is just grab a little pointy tool and just give a little push just inside there just push the cotton back that way that it's you're making sure that it's actually going to wick properly and, uh, and, and that is pretty much it it's really really easy to build wick and get going this thing and once again, I've had no issues with uh, dry hits or any wicking issues. And for 50-50, uh, I would suggest using more cotton than what I have in there. Just packing it a little bit more out. And as always with these things, if you're not sure, grab your chimney before you put it in the bottle, before you do anything. Grab your chimney, sit it on top of a regulated device, give it another little test fire and make sure that you're not getting any shorts. The bottle tank I'm going to use here I got for free, oh sorry, uh, from Limelight Mechanics. Uh, this is this is a really good bottle tank and uh, I'm not just saying that because I like the airflow but for just for putting bridges in and out and it's really really simple. No messing about with any glass on the front here. Uh, so I quite enjoy this bottle tank. You know I've got this fully assembled, I'm just going to you know fire that on there like that and then just get this and stick it on top make sure that's lined up there we go pop it together and that's us we're ready to go i mean i could have this facing out but i'm going to have it facing out that way today fill it up with some juice um i would always say a general rule of thumb is when you're filling up a bottle tank for the first time with a new build don't put a lot of liquid in it you really don't want to do that I'm going to take this and pop it into my little old Delro. Can't believe I've had this for oh, over two years now. Little test fire. There we go. And I'm ready to go for a vape. Right, back up top. So, the Cloud RBA from Cloud Mount. Mount. 
cloud mods in Greece. Um, right. Obviously, the cloud RTAs, you know, the, the V1 and the V2, uh, are, are very good flavour ATTIs. So I was curious how good this was going to be on the flavour front. As far as machining goes and so on and construction, the only concern I had when this arrived was that that top chimney just fell in and out. I, I, I thought that it was just going to be a nightmare because of that. Uh, but no issues. None at all. It's not giving me any grief at all because obviously it can't turn uh, inside the borrow tank, which is a great thing. So no problems in that front. Putting mouth to lung builds in, uh, the, yeah, it clamps it no problem. There's no move, you know, there's no gap behind the, the grub screws there. That's all good. And it's 316 screws as well. 316L construction for everything, peak insulators and you know the rest. 140 euros, not including shipping. Uh, just going to point out, I, I know that, well this thing, this matters to people. Uh, yes, on the RBA side of things, it's not the cheapest one, but this is not mass produced. This is released in limited numbers. Uh, they're not a massive company or anything like that. So that's where the price comes into it. Uh, there are many, many bridges on the market. If this one is not within your budget, then there are plenty that may be. The air pins, um, yes, I know for, I, I, I do wish they'd included a 0 0.8, um, but uh, do you know, actually I'll mention this now, it starts off at a 1 and it goes up to 4, you get 5 pins in total, which is great. Uh, on the flavour front, for me, uh, uh, a restricted direct lung, a tight restricted direct lung, to a really loose, loose, I mean it, it's four, it's a four mil air hole, but uh, you know in a borrow tank you're only going to get X amount of air through it anyway. I mean I've got the door off of my Delro here, I've got a wide board drip tip, I've got the biggest pin and some people would consider that a tight direct lung, uh, but it's not what you would possibly expect for a four mil air hole. There is a limitation because of, you know, billet box devices. Sorry, I should say borrow devices now. So I, I will say that I think, yes, you will get a mouth to lung, a one mil draw from it. And for me, I, I personally believe that this works at its best uh, with a restricted direct lung and a, a, a a loose or a very very tight direct lung. The reason I'm saying that is because you know between the posts there's there's quite a lot of area in there and even with that one mil pin in there um, I do find with this uh, Atty I, I have to put a couple more watts through it to get the flavour I want than than I normally would. Now obviously I I have lots of bridges and RBAs and so on and so forth and I always use the same coils for testing no matter what kind of review I'm doing. I've got lots of PC coils sent on from PC coils, mouth to lung coils, restricted direct lung coils and cloudy coils but they're all the same resistance, all the same build. That's so I can, you know, I've got a benchmark across for testing. For this, I have to give it a little bit more power. Um, it, it's no big deal for me. I still get the flavour that I want, and it's good flavour from it, but I do need more power. And on the mouth to lung front, I do have to raise that coil a little bit more than I normally would. I give it a little bit more power, and I will get good flavour from it. But for me, even with a 50-50, you know, heavier on the PG side, so I should be getting more flavour. It's maybe not the best mouth to lung flavour experience I've come across from on a bridge. Um, but on the RDL and DL side, yeah, I have no issues with it at all. I think it's really, really good, actually. So I'm another quick blast here. The wicking on it is, it doesn't matter what mode I'm in, mouth to lung or RDL or DL, it, it, it's, the wicking is superb. Now the way I did it, you know, where I, I pull the cotton up through that cap and then put the cap down, cut it, um, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it the more intuitive way if you want. That's just the way 
I find easiest and it just seems to help me with the wicking doing it that way. But remember, give the cotton a little poke through the, the slots in the side after you've put everything together and, and you'll be fine. No gurgling, no... It, I've got zero issues out of what we've discussed to feed back to you. It is, I think, a very, very good RBA. For restricted direct lung and, and a tight direct lung, this is kind of up there. I, I do really enjoy the flavour from this one. I, I really do. Uh, I think they've done a good job in it. And once again, the machining and everything is not half bad. I just... It's not... what I, If I was mouth to lung, if I was a mouth to lunger and I was looking for a mouth to lung bridge, this is not necessarily the one I would... I think there's better mouth to lung RBAs than this one. But everything else, it's bloody great at. Uh, but that's it. That's all I've got for you on the Cloud RBA from Cloud Mods in Athens, Greece. Um, so once again, Facebook group, 140 euros plus shipping. And I am I think the second batch is coming soon. Go and check the Facebook group, you'll find out. But thank you to Cloud Mods, as always, for sending gear on to me. I got this free to review, to show off to you guys, and until next time, bye for now.